Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to B and K Bees. <sighs> I have a million things to do. I have to get these and my other nukes into tens. I have to feed these and blast these at least three times with oxalic acid. I have to get formic on all of our production hives. I have to inspect our production hives, do the mid-season inspection on those, probably after the formic. Um, I have to add more honey boxes. There's more and more plants blooming every day. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do, but we have family up. We've had family and friends up for the last couple of weeks, and that won't cease for another week or so. So I'm doing little bits here and there alongside of a lot of computer work that's also backing up. So as I've said a lot of times on this channel, and as I said in a recent video about making money and, and trying to transfer your hobby into your profession, you really can't schedule stuff for in the middle of the bee year. I mean, not without being prepared to be behind, um, which is not something that I am or, or that I enjoy, you know? It's a constant stressor. Uh, but of course, you know, there's only a limited amount of time that you can hang out with your 11-year-old niece in a, like a long format and bring her out to do cool things, you know? Because she has school and she doesn't live with us. So I have to do that stuff in the summer, and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to do that and hang out with my family, but like I said, it puts me behind and I have a million things to do and only a couple of days to do them. So like I said, I've got to get these nukes into tens, I've got to get them blasted, and I have to get our production hives treated with formic before the end of this week. It's Tuesday now, let's see how that goes. Just frickin' wonderful. Gosh darn it. disaster. I guess it was fitting that I started this video off the way that I did and saying that all the stuff that I have to get done and all the limited amount of time that I have to do it all and because then the two things that I came out here to do both failed. Uh, the sugar bucket congealed which is something that I've seen a couple times this year and had never seen before. Um, so like rather than I guess maybe it's not soaked into the ground. I can show you. Yeah, of course it's not soaked into the ground because it's gel. So yeah, the uh, I, I packed in too much straw, which is a stupid rookie mistake. Um, it's like dried hay rather than straw, and so it doesn't really sit loosely very easily. Um, yeah, stupid mistake. So rather than fermenting and turning into nastiness, it turned into that gel. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. It ruined the straw. I'm not going to put 
fresh sugar syrup on fermented gel straw and uh, potentially give these bees a digestive issue. So I was not able to feed, I've gotta go get more straw. Uh, and then I did what I, my main thing to come out here to do was uh, to blast with oxalic acid. And I've had a lot of you guys in the past ask me, whoa, what kind of oxalic acid sublimator is that? And you guys have been impressed and it's because it was a cool device. And I've had to say over the last year or so, well, it's the, whatever it is, Mini, VM Vaporizer Mini, and uh, that they don't sell them anymore. And I didn't really know why they didn't sell them anymore. I'd heard a rumor that the, uh, that the crank wasn't working, the pump for pumping the gas out of the front, and uh, mine just broke. Mine just broke in that exact same way. So I spent $700 on that piece of machinery about three years ago. <clears throat> and now this doesn't, it doesn't blow anything out. The, uh, the vapor just sort of sits where you, or the crystals sit where you put them and the device gets really, really hot and nothing comes out the front. And uh, so yeah, that's why they don't sell those anymore. And now I am without a method of treating with oxalic and I don't have two grand for uh, a super, super fancy one. So I honestly do not know what I'm gonna do. Right now I've gotta go get more straw for that feeder and at least give these bees some food and then deliver food to another yard that I was supposed to feed and blast. Hmm, you guys have any ideas? Let me know in the comments. Dang it. <clears throat> what are you doing, Piggy? What are you doing, buddy? No, 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 get away. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ooh, your mom's got big sense, bud. All right, so ah, I'm going to, I have, been, I have planned on trying to figure out the, uh, the oxalic acid dribble method, not trying to figure out, like I've read the Randy Oliver stuff on it, it's a very easy process. I have planned on doing the oxalic acid dribble on video for educational purposes, and now I'm forced to. Uh, so yeah, I had asked for ideas. I'm still very curious as to if you guys have any cool ideas for me as to what I should do in terms of treating these nukes and treating bees in the broodless portion of the fall and spring um, because of the fact that my oxalic acid vaporizer sublimator broke. But yeah, I'm gonna probably do the dribble here uh, in this next week or so on these nukes. So stay tuned for that. Piggy and I, her name is Ig, or Iggy, after the great Detroit rock star Iggy Pop, but we call her Iggy Piggy because she is a little pig, aren't you buddy? <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go to one more yard, drop off a couple more buckets. Ah, should be blasting with oxalic there too, but not gonna happen today. See you over at that next yard. Girl, buddy. You're a good girl jumping in all that tall grass.
<laughs> All right, so I got them fed. Uh, both feeders had congealed. I put too much straw in there. I keep calling it straw. It's hay, and that for that reason, it just sort of sat all together, not really allowing for a lot of those nooks and crannies in and amongst the pieces of straw that are usually there when I use regular straw. So I had to use less this time. Hopefully it doesn't congeal like that. That was a weird thing that I'd not seen before. Um, but either way, there's lots of stuff blooming. I'm not worried about these bees starving. I just wanted them to not have to be foraging for every little thing since I need them to build up quite a lot before the winter. But obviously I'm going to buy a lot of sugar and end up feeding these hives quite a lot um, before, you know, mid-September or whatever. So, ah. Okay, so the camera was getting too hot outside, so I figured I'd finish the rest of this video inside the truck. Hopefully the audio is decent because it's... Probably pretty echoey, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to either, number one, do the shop towel method for oxalic acid treatment on these nukes. Number two, do the dribble method. Or number three, wait until they're built up enough to give them either apivar or formic. Uh, but probably I'm gonna do one of the oxalic methods because I have so much oxalic crystals and I need to learn it and, and hopefully I'll be and hopefully it will be a good uh, teachable moment here on this channel. So what is and has been uh, over the course of today frustrating and uh, you know, sort of devastating to be honest because that tool is uh, such a big part of what we do out here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to figure out another way until I can either purchase another tool or figure out another method. So maybe this uh, shop towel method will be just exactly what I needed and it'll be so easy and perfect that I don't need to invest in another tool or the dribble method or whatever. So we will figure that out. We will get these bees treated. We will get those mites killed. Uh, I was able to give them some food. Like I said, I screwed up with too much hay where I am used to just packing the straw in those feeders. The, the straw doesn't sit down and condense quite as much as the hay, so you can really pack it about a third to a half full with straw and fill all, it all of the rest of the way up with sugar syrup, and uh, they'll be fine. They'll, they'll drink every little bit of it, and there won't even be a single dead bee. Um, but yeah, I've been using hay since that was what was in the shed of the house that we purchased. So rather than going out and buying a bale of straw like I should have, I just thought, ah, oh, okay, I'll use that um, since it's just sitting there. So it works the first few times, but this time I just happened to throw a little bit too much in the feeders and all of that sugar it was an absolute waste. Had to pour it out on the ground. So frustrating day in the bee yard. Bee yards operation. Either way, we'll get it figured out. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, something like that, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to chat with you. Otherwise, get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.